hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to get multiple values from your database in checkbox so we are getting multiple values into a checkbox okay so guys let's get started with it so let's move to our uh, database first to understand what are those values so as you can see that i have created a brands table and inside that i have multiple values which is known as brands over here and name so this values will be fetched into a checkbox so that will be solved using php code with the for each loop so guys now let's get started with it let's go to our editor and here you can see guys i have set up with the bootstrap 5 where we are using this for designing purpose and now let's get started with this so guys now let's open php and fetch all the brands which we have inserted into our database so let's call it the connection first where mysqli underscore connect function to check the database connection local host username is root password is null and then the database name is php tutorials so let me just copy my database name and paste now guys let us write a query to fetch that so let's tell dollar query is equal to please make sure you are giving a unique name because it might get clashed in your code so let's type brand query okay and let's write the statement called select star which means all from the table name so my table name is nothing but a brand so a underscore brand and from this let's execute this above query dollar query underscore run with the help of my sql i query function we are going to execute so first will be your database connection so let's copy this dollar con and then your brand query let's copy and paste over here and now let's execute this first data is there or not into this table so we can satisfy with the if condition where my sql i number of rows okay rws rows function where you are going to tell if it is greater than zero show me the correct value else you can just mention with that like echo record not um, just tell no record found and now if it is found then you have to execute that so let's copy this query run variable and use for each loop the for each loop placed here as dollar dollar brand and then we need to echo this so how will you echo we want this to echo in a checkbox so let us close php and open php and divide this over here let's type input for checkbox and then let's paste at the last open php close php we will use a shortcut to echo that so let's use is equal to and call your dollar brand which is this and inside this the column name so a name in name and let's close with semicolon so let's I'll show you this is my column name name okay let's save and echo the output first guys refresh you can see the output perfect so let me just break that add a br tag save refresh cool so this is how we fetch all your brands values into a checkbox so guys now let's write a code to save this brand values into another table so let's get started with it okay so first you need to create a uh, values into this so where you can accept all the value just give value not values and the same code let's copy and paste for to insert that let's paste over here and then give a name is equal to brands list you can just mention in a array format so it will store multiple datas over here now let's assign this in a form give a form control x and paste add below 
let's give method is equal to post and one submit button form group a button button save multiple checkbox and let's give the value not value name we have to give the name will be save multi checkbox okay and let's give a class for this to design button button primary let me give margin top which is 3 save this and now let us see the output right now you can see a button so when we click this all this data should get saved all multiple values when we select with this like this okay so guys now let's code that also so now let's copy this button name and go to form action where we are going to code.php file with the method post okay with this input values so let's move over here code.php and let's write a if condition to check whether the button is clicked or not so you can satisfy with a set function where i'm going to call that button and if the button is clicked it will come inside this and take all the input fields so, so you can tell that brand list is equal to dollar underscore post of your brands so what is the input name brand list so let's copy this brands list we are storing over here and let's echo this so you need this is coming in array format so you need just for each loop to echo not for each for each give with this and over here brand list as dollar brand items let's copy and echo this first echo and see the output of it okay let me just concatenate and break over here because it will be messy over there so let's save we didn't refresh the data so let us just refresh and let's select redmi samsung nokia and carbon let's click on save you can see redmi samsung nokia and carbon so selected values has come now so let's write a query to insert this data into a database come over here and let's comment this and now we need to write this query dollar query where you are going to insert so where are you going to insert let's create one table for it so i have already created one demo table where you can see that id and name so this id is primary key and name is varchar of 191 so let's insert into this table insert into the table name is demo where column fields and values of your input so let us call that name name of my column field and the brand items which we have echoed copy and paste into single quotes make sure you are giving in single quotes otherwise it will not save it will show an error query q u e r y query run to execute this statement we are using mysqli query function mysqli underscore query function where this requires the database connection dollar c o n and then your query copy and paste now guys we need to check this if condition is satisfied then we will execute with this as simple use if else condition to check that let's copy this if it is success then it will come inside this and let's sh type a message over here using session create a session variable with the name status where you will tell inserted successfully if you lly after that i want to return and redirect to the same page which is you can call location colon this page so i want to get back to the same page and show the message so let's copy this and paste the below also and you can tell not inserted save and now to show this message on this page you need the session to be start so let's copy this and let's go over here and start the session at the top 
close PHP. And now let's type the code for how to show that message. I have already done that. So let me just paste it. Paste. And this is the short code to view the message using session. So guys, let's save and check the output of it. Let's go back, refresh. And now guys, you can see there is no data into this demo table. Let's insert those data over here. So I'm going to select with RedMI, Samsung, Vivo and Carbon. Let's click on save. You can see inserted successfully message has come. And let's see in this database. Cool. So guys, our data is stored over here. So in this video, we have covered about how to get multiple values in checkbox and then storing this checkbox value into database. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.